Let's speak to a couple of people with some very differing views about what's happened today. Uh, we'll start with Majad Qureshi, one of the organisers. What do you think this has actually achieved? Well, I think it's very important that uh, after the general election that we show that there are people in this country still very concerned about austerity and the impact it has on our day-to-day -day lives. And it's not just here in London where we've had a quarter of a million. We've had demonstrations up and down the country. And I think uh, the government should see quite clearly that uh, what, whatever measures they take, there will be a response to it. And I think events like this galvanise the response. The government have got a mandate for these cuts. Uh, they've been elected, re-elected with a majority this time, so they're perfectly entitled to go ahead with their plans. Well, you, you say that, but it's interesting. I think what you'll find, if you look at the figures, it's only one in four uh, persons in the United Kingdom have voted uh, for them to, uh, with their programme. And also in other parts like yeah, so Scotland... that's splitting hairs about yeah, democracy, isn't true, it? true, but there's also places like Scotland where quite clearly the SNP made their breakthroughs there with 50-odd seats because of their very anti austerity position that they took uh, across the whole board. But at the end of the day, they're not really going to take any notice then? Well, it's interesting. I think there's a, an economic argument that needs to be put to them. It's, it's all very well keeping, uh, looking at the economy in a kind of bookkeeper's sense. But if you want to actually get the economy going, that's the best way to reduce the deficit. And we've seen that before uh, under Bill Clinton in America, when he came with a huge uh, deficit, reduced it, down to and, and, and got a surplus on the back of economic growth and that's what we're proposing here. OK, well let's put that point to Andy Sylvester from the Taxpayers Allowance. Uh, shouldn't the government doing, be doing that instead, spending rather than cutting? Certainly not and the uh, uh, honest truth is they are still spending. We are still, you know, looking at a £75 billion deficit. Well, just yesterday new figures came out that showed the national debt is now more than £1.5 trillion. Um, these are huge numbers, and the idea that we could somehow stop this austerity program, I think, is misguided. You can't fault the earnestness of the people out there and the noise and the festival atmosphere. Clearly, this means a lot to an awful lot of people. But when you look at the numbers, I'm afraid austerity is the only solution. Even if you accept that cuts have to be made, people here would argue that these cuts are falling on the people who can least afford it. Well, the point is that our government has grown so big, hence it spends so much, that it's hitting everybody in society. Um, and that includes those at the top as well at the bottom but we often hear about austerity you can hear the curls out there today but we also have to ask you know where's the where's the celebration of the fact that the personal allowance has gone up for instance for those on the lowest incomes where's that celebration those are the very people who are you know losing benefits to a certain degree but they're also paying less in tax it's moving towards a smaller government one in which government has less control over our lives and which money we can I mean money is there for us to look for the future I mentioned earlier about the, the Conservatives' majority, but it is a small majority. Is there a danger that protests like this escalate, that people in the Tory party could start changing their view? Well, that's the nature of democracy, isn't it? That's why we have protests and, and more power, the more advert for organising and getting everyone together. But ultimately, they do have a mandate to reduce the deficit down to zero, to start paying back the debt. They have to act on that. The fear is they get distracted and they start thinking about other things politically when they really need to drive down to a, a balanced budget by 2020 and hopefully start paying back some of that tremendous...